Hey everybody, welcome back to some more experimental patch Peglin. Uh, gotta be honest with you, I, I think I've seen a lot of what I need to see from the experimental patch. Uh, but I just wanted to play some Peglin, I thought, you know what, why why roll the game back to the base state? Let's keep on the experimental, and we'll just keep playing the round roll. I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot. Uh, so, missed navigation damage increased to 5 now. Alright. So, we get punished for being very greedy. Yikes. Uh, we'll take the super boost, though. That counters that effect perfectly. So, we're back on Crucible 3 again. Huzzah! I am no longer punished for greed. What we will be punished for, though, is the slime boss if I don't get a good build. Alright. We have L Speed Rays. We'd like a few bombs here if we can get them. That's perfect. Actually, no, that is perfect. We don't take any damage. Okay, it wasn't quite perfect. We, to be fair, we can't afford an orb, but none of the orbs are particularly good here. So we got a little bit lucky there. We definitely want to go to the right if we can. No! <laughs> you coward! I hate that map for navigation. All right, I'm going to fight an elite then. I want my early reward game, and I want it, well, in, like, two rounds. I'd prefer to have it now, but that is not the way this game works, sadly. Ooh, a little trick shot there. Nice. We definitely needed some gold. This is a great map to farm a bit of uh, gold on. But you don't need much damage there, so we'll just pick up a little bit of extra gold again. And now we want a big score. I mean, this is about as big as you're going to get right now. Two more dudes. Trick shot, maybe? Oh, didn't quite get the crit. Still, 50 damage. Plus a status effect. That's still reasonable going. So close to making the trick shot then as well. Alright, let's just make sure we hit the refresh here. I don't want this nerd to hit me after all of this. We get the crit, and that's... Good round. Okay, we've not really done a spin fetch and build, have we? Or have we done one in the experimental patch? I don't remember. I don't think we have. At least we haven't really used... The spin fetcher sting. Let's pick it up. And I'm going to upgrade it as well. So this rewards crit build as well. So we can go for some sort of spin fetcher crit build maybe. That seems reasonable. God, I love these boots as well. They don't really, you know, improve my gameplay. It just means I take less damage from being a greedy, greedy player. We'll remove one orb here. I would have removed all of the orbs from the had not just picked up the uh, Spin Fetchus orb. I've not done an Aruberus run for a while, so yeah, it could have been fun. Uh, speaking of fun, this is probably the mo I, I think this is my least favorite of the elites of this floor. As if it's like, it's probably the hardest one. I prefer this now that it's been reworked. I think I've said this many times. The rework is definitely better. But it's still definitely a fight where you can easily take a lot of chip damage. The bombs are just so hard to activate. And if you don't activate them, you just have to chew through all these slimes at the front. And it's pretty painful. All right, we're going to get clobbered a little bit. That was an awful shot, but... It could have definitely been worse there. I'm just trying to get to this bomb right now without hitting the refresh. Okay, whatever. I think at this point, we kind of just ignore the bombs now. Unless... Unless, okay, we got one of them. So that'll save me a bit of damage. Now we just need to deal with Big Daddy Slime. 
I'll take 77. Uh, the crit is probably unlikely, so let's just try and hit as many pigs as we can. I hit the crit, that's quite funny. Man, I'm already at half health. It's so brutal. Okay, we're out, though. Okay, something else that rewards crits. Hmm. I think I need something that enables the crit build before I do that. Every shot is a crit when fired below 50% health. Am I going to live on the edge again? The knife's edge? Maybe. I do think I want to go left. You might say, don't lie, that was calculated. That actually went the way I thought it was going to. Uh, I'll take a rest. If we get a battle, so be it. We got a battle. All right, it's the same elite fight. That's kind of unlucky. We may perish here. I really need to hit all the bombs. That's not a good start to doing that. I can tell you that for certain. The problem is, if you put it directly up, you'll get one bomb short, but you won't ever get the other two. So it's like you have to generate the hole, and then try and knock out like the the eyes of the slime in the center, like the left and right bombs. It's just a little bit tricky. I wouldn't say it's a little bit SSX tricky, but it's it's approaching that difficulty. Oh, we hit the refresh. Pain. I knew the refresh is right in front of a bomb. We hit a bomb, but... Both bombs are activated. Okay, we got the bomb at the very least. That's what I was going for. We get hit for 14. No, that's pain. I need to knock this peg out. I need to be able to hit the refresh eventually. We got it. I'd love to kill you, but we're not. But hey, every shot that's fired now is a crit. So we're getting some relic value. Do I want more spin infectious stings in my deck? Oh, it's hard, but I'd say no. I probably don't right now. I think I'm going to save my money and go for the shop. There's extra damage along your orbs are in flight. Whenever you heal lost health, deal three times the recovered health as damage to targeted enemy. Hmm. This does nothing. This does something. And I'll take the question mark tile, I think. But we're going to do it via a skill shot. Okay, three health, I'll take it. Another elite? Are you kidding me? It's a good opening for it, though, so... I guess we've got that going for us. And if we can get some thorns on this guy to just hold him in place, then we'll be laughing again. Sadly, we haven't got that at all so far. But we're looking pretty good. We got a bit of blindness. We've killed him. Get rolled. Grant's Muscle Circle. No. Another Dagorb? Interesting, but no. I think I'm going to keep my money again. Whenever an additional enemy spawns, you gain 10 Belusion. Uh, and we get plus one, plus two for every orb of the same connecting type. I think I'm going to take this one because I don't think I'm going to gain much Belusion this run. And we definitely want to go to the shop. Or maybe we didn't. Minor, but I'll take it. How greedy do I want to be? Bearing in mind, 
I want to go to the shop, so we'd have to fight another elite. This might be too much greed. Hey, this is the guy we want to fight, though. And every shot is a crit. We get the early poison on him. We also got the thorns. That's perfect. That's everything we could want and more. Okay, we, we do want the refresh here, though. So we'll take that. And you're going to die before you get to me. He just fell at my feet. He fell on his knees at my feet. Almost in servitude. Oh, this is a hard one. Oh, this is tricky. Mask of Sorrow is so good for this build right now. Whenever you apply negative state effect, you increase my apply by one or prime rod of frost. Your projectile attacks pierce an additional enemy. Unpopular. I think you have to take the prime rod of frost with my build right now. I have no piercing. And we're going to need piercing at some point. I'm not going to the shop either. All right. It's fine. We'll go to the shop on the next floor. It's fine. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about this. It's not like, you know, I need stuff to win. Anyway, this is why we took the rod, because it's very strong. Let's go for the bat now. I'd like to get a bomb here, but... Oh, we did get it. Nice. Okay, that makes everything way easier, in fact. We've got a guaranteed crit incoming. And that's both of you dead. Now we might want to take a loose circle. I, I said we might not want it. Maybe we do want it now. I think we'll level you up as well. And actually, I think we're going to level you up. Nope. Yep. And I don't think I heal. In fact... Arguably, I don't want to heal here, but I think I will. Okay, that was the perfectly bad amount. Well done, me. Hello again. So I'm pretty certain I won't get the crit here, right? Because it has to be below... Oh no, you get it on equal as well. Never mind, I tell a lie and the truth. This was the perfect amount. And now, my orbs are way better. I don't need to rely on the bombs anymore. Because we have piercing. The one downside of running spin infection builds, as I said normally, is that it's good for single target. The the prime rod of frost makes it a multi-target ability. Like look at this battle, we didn't get hit. You know what? I'm going to take another one now. Because we took the, the hero's backpack before. And I'm going to crank it all the way up. I don't think I need this either. Bombs can be refreshed. Create two gold whenever the board is refreshed. Give me more money. Give me the Re-Philosopher's Stone. And honestly, I'd like to hit no pegs here. Trick shot. Nice. You don't call me Andalono Angles. Mac Manus for some nothing. Okay, I stole Alan Mac Manus's nickname from the snooker. Bombs detonated while navigating for five gold. Stones get better. You know what? Let's try and take this weird gold bomb thing. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'll take it, but we're not going to really rely on it. So this will be a crit. Which is big damage at this point. 247. Solid. Now we spin Fetch you as well. Get a few bombs going. We rooted you as well. And it, it's over for you. You're dead. 
What an insane build. Maybe I want the Ballard as well. And we just go like full crisp infection. Sure, let's do it. And I'm just going to crank it up as well. And then in the future, we just need to get rid of the pebbles. All right, I fought long and hard. I deserve squirrels, okay? Oh, I'm back at 100 health, I forgot. And right, I think with any of the, the Pegling classes, the one that gets the best use of that Prime Rod is the the, the, the Round Roll, right? Because we get to put the status effects on two people as well. It's so powerful. Was that 400 damage I just did then? All I saw was a giant number. Very good. All right, maybe controversial here. I think I'd prefer to go right and get the early shot because the thing that I really need to do right now is remove orbs. So, let's go to hell. I kind of want to greed for a bit of gold because I don't really care if I go left. Okay, we're going left. There is a shop to the left, so it doesn't really matter, but... I'll take this. This is a nice little value add. <laughs> Flip a chip. Do I want this relic? No, see you later. I'm also not going to invest in you because I kind of want my money right now. I would have fought that elite as well, but the the Peglin God said no. Uh, you can take several of my health to remove a pebble. That's a great deal. Thank you. Oh, and oh, we shouldn't take the special relic. The rare case I don't take special relic. This heals you, but I don't want to be healed. So we should run away. Uh, the first thing I want to do here, and I think it's the most important, remove an orb. Board has more refreshes. Pegs detonate, uh, bombs detonate pegs, heal six when reloading, or tactical treat. I think I'm going to take a tactical treat so the refreshes can't get stuck in hell. And I will fight the elite. In part because I want to lose some health. Where is the crit? I'm not going to hit the crit. It's behind a shield thing, so it's very unlikely we get it. And I was justified. Probably not getting it again, but I don't really need it right now. All right, here comes the big play. We can't get, quite get the crit again. All right, here comes the little play, it turns out. Man, the refreshes have only gone into bad spots so far. It's crazy. It's fine. I wanted to lose some health anyway. I missed the refresh. I'm bad at the game. All right. We don't need to worry about hitting the crit anymore. All right. This was more like what I wanted to do. Please stop shooting me, though. Uh, that works quite well for me, honestly, that you changed order. Okay, we'll go for the bomb. 
Right, that's the, the mage dead. And the big boss will also die. Okay, that was a little bit spooky. Yes. Yes. Whenever a crit is triggered, gain 10 Belusion. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a build. Or I could take the O Orga. Man. I kind of want both of these. But well, let's try vitamin C. I think this is new. Uh, and I prefer to go right, but I don't really care. Oh my god. The dodgy dagger? Yes, please. All right, we do want some Belusion then, it turns out. Oh, remove an orb, please. No pebbles left in the deck either? If we can live through this floor, we are laughing. And I tell you what, I think I want all up nothing. See you later. Don't want that. I, I like the idea of the roundabout, but it's just not... It's just not the orb I want to use, right? Uh, this should roll you, by the way. In fact, I don't even need to hit this. But I will anyway, because that gives me more pollution, right? So every time I fire an orb, I get 10 pollution. Yeah, guaranteed. Ow. Really? Oh, and the pollution didn't pop either. All right, we actually don't care about healing. We're going up against a boss that, if he hits you, he, he kills you. Uh, but what if I get a random battle? You know, we'll do a heal. It keeps me below 50%. It was just the boss, next I'm done. It's fine. We just wasted a bit of gold there. Who hasn't wasted a bit of gold in their life, right? Actually, I, I said that in jest, but now that I think about it, during my chemistry days, I probably did waste a little bit of gold. I did use chloroauric acid to make some gold colloids for a, a master's project. And definitely some of those... <laughs> definitely some of those uh, colloids I tried to make, they didn't get made. They definitely, like, flocculated and came out as, like, solid gold and... just went in the bin, honestly. It was only tiny amounts, by the way. It's not like, you know, I was throwing out gold bars. It'd be like microgram amounts. And it would have had other crap stuck in it anyway, so it wouldn't be worth purifying. Uh, this is my big damage orb right now. Goodbye, all the squirrels. By the way, we have Belusion. It doesn't matter if this, but a Belusion 100 right now. Which is kind of cool. Considering I only get Belusion from hitting crits. Anyway, that should be lethal, I think. Unless we get a little bit unlucky. Nope, that is lethal. Right, we rolled the wall. Shuffle the crit and the refresh every six pegs hit up to ten times. And you shuffle when discarded. Uh, hmm. I don't think I'm interested, actually. All right, let's just win the run. We'll take Molten Mantle, Insane Relic. So we can't gain gold anymore, so we have to be a little bit careful. But on the flip side, we'll do Insane Damage from now on. 
Also, all my orbs are like fully upgraded, right? And there's not that much I would want to add to the deck. I'd probably add something equivalent to the dag orb that has a big crit on it. That's about it. Can you please stop falling down the left side? And then we just one-shot it. Very amusing. Wow, that was a huge amount of health that I didn't get because I went into hell. Like, there's no point in farming gold either. I'm actually trying to heal off this. Yeah, duplicate all, please. I think the best thing to duplicate is actually this Ballard. I think this is actually what is driving the run now. After saying, you know, oh, I would add another crit to the, the deck. Oh, yeah, I'll check behind the waterfall. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. Yeah, after saying that, I got offered the opportunity to put another plus three dagger into the deck and didn't take it. By the way, I am planning to lose the health so I get the permanent crits every turn. It's just I wanted to wait a little bit longer. Since I I struggled to heal with money now. Oh my god, I got a Belusion trigger. At 10%, I think it was. Lucky! Uh, chest or no? I will take the chest, please. Yeah, why not? Might be able to get through this now. No, still no. Okay, do I want to fight Hansi McGee? The age-old question for which there is one obvious answer. No, I don't really want to fight Hansi McGee. How did I miss the crit, by the way? Ah! <laughs> I can see the one peg I missed. Whatever. Ow. Oh my god, it's gonna hit again. Whatever. Okay, a loose circle I should consider now. I'll take it. And I'm actually gonna upgrade it immediately. The reason being is that I don't want to heal, but what I want at low health, I want to survive. And this is probably the best way to do it. I probably want to go all the way to the left, so I don't really want to fight the elite. Therefore, I think I do want to go left. If the game will let me, of course. But I have to be careful with this shop. Unless it's pretty good, we shouldn't take it. Yeah, we shouldn't take this. Just in case I need to do an emergency heal. Well, fuck me, I suppose. Heal two for every turn the board is refreshed. Ha! I don't think I want this. When I get to low health, I want to stay there. You know what? I'll, I'll let Jesus take the wheel. Alright. I hit no bombs and I'm going down the way I didn't want to go. Thanks, Jesus. Oh, actually, thank you, Jesus. I'm a believer again. That's a really good get for me. Works very nicely with the vitamin C. Cool. 
could grab another loose circle, but I'm not super hot on that. In fact, I'm not hot on any of these. Again, I think I saved the money. Ooh, tricky little battle here. I still never let this guy hit me. And my intention is not to let him do that. He does kind of get Giga Rolled by Poison, though, because he takes, like, an additional point of damage. Because our actual raw damage number doesn't really matter, right? It's just how many times we hit the pegs. That's all that matters. Like, that was a pretty poor turn. But it doesn't matter because he's going to die to Poison. <laughs> oh, a Tier 3 Mem Orb if I want it. Honestly, maybe. Oh, it would leave me, I think, one gold off. No, it would leave me more than one gold off being able to heal. I'm going to take it. All right, we have no healing in our future. And we have two battles in the squares. Good orb, thanks. I think we're still completely fine, by the way. Molten Mantle is such an insane relic that I think it's kind of irrelevant. The mantle will carry me. But I, I'm definitely making it a little bit more spicy than I needed to. Man, the additional crits are also really nice. Uh, sure, give me the crit. I mean, we, we just got good stuff this run, right? I wouldn't even say the theme is particularly strong. It's just a crit build with a lot of good stuff. That's the theme. All right, what am I doing? Thank you. Not Handy McGee, I'm happy. I'm thrilled even. I just killed the the weather vane on my first shot. That was insane. Uh, please stop hitting me by the way. Spinettes as well while we're at it. Oh my god. Look at the damage numbers. This is a 124 now. If I can hit a crit. This is a 315. Oh, you can't target it, so it doesn't do anything on this map. That's funny. Uh, refreshes, by the way. Can you fucking get out the top corner? Thank you. This is the last enemy. Oh, my God. Can you just die, please? Okay, so this one won't work. And now you're dead. All right, we... Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. I was about to say this is going to be a little bit spicy, I think, but it's not going to be spicy. Just look at the left side of my screen. Again, the memo, very funny. Nice to see that Peglin has a sense of humor. Anyway, here come the crits.
I might be below 50 health here. In which case, we'll get an auto crit on the Dag Orb. Uh, two of the squares have died. Three of the squares died that turn. What just happened? Well, it's over. We won, apparently. Molten Mantle, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't matter what build we had. Molten Mantle carried us to victory. Uh, this Vitamin C, though, I really like it. That's a pretty fun relic. It does really reward you for trying to live on the nice edge, right? That's a nice combo. Nice edge for Vitamin C. It makes thematic sense as well. You use your knife edge. I don't know why I'm gesturing this. I haven't got my camera on. You use your knife edge edge to cut the orange into the slice to give you the relic to give you the vitamin c that makes you full of energy so you're elusive it makes perfect sense uh, anyway that's gonna do for this episode if you enjoyed it why don't you like and subscribe everything helps me out and i'll see you again next time goodbye